little bouncy guy. Always a good one, dude. I catch the bait, you catch the fish. <laughs> oh! oh, yeah! Fletch is hooked it's up. Nice one. Oh. Is it a big one? Yeah, no, it's definitely a size of a one. Oh, oh, dude! Oh, you he's sure? Big, dude. Yeah, he's freaking big. Before we hop into this video, we actually have a giveaway with a brand new mock smash reel. So if you guys want to enter this, you better stay tuned. It's going to be in randomly in the video, so you're going to have to watch it all the way through and figure out how to enter for this bad boy. It's going to be different this time, so stay tuned for that. Let me get one first cast here. Maybe another bass. Oh, you did. Yay, let's go. You got two. We got two little fish. Tiny bluegill. He's a little bouncy guy. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, wow. that worked. <laughs> That's a lot. There we go. That's a lot. No, like, giant bait. But that is like... Well, that is some bait. That is great size right there. We're juiced up. We got the bass candy right here. That's money. That's freaking money. You got a big... Oh my oh, yeah. gosh. We're loaded. <laughs> we are small loaded. Ones. Do we oh, have any? oh, you have some bass, bro. Do I have some bass? Yeah, you got some baby bass in there. Look at that little bass. Are this all bass? Oh yeah, these little babies. Ten big tilapia this time? I hope so. Let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we got some big ones. We got ones. a bass. It's, uh, it's a bass. We got baby bass. Not what we want. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's a good one. There we go. That is more like it. That is our best that is bait our fish today. Best bait yet. That's what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. We're good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got them. All right. That we got is a bunch there. amazing bait size. Holy there cow. We, look at those big bass right there. Oh, my gosh. There's a school of big bass. You want to try to catch them? Dude, we could try to lie bait. With them. You want to feed one? Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I think I got one. There's no way. No, you got a cup. What? What? Oh, dude. Dude, that was... Oh. Dude, there were so many bass right there. Do it without getting this time. I can try. <laughs> Ow, God, they can... God, yeah, they're bad, bro. <laughs> you have that little neck. <laughs> they're bad. Kobe. As you can tell by the title, we are live bait fishing today. We filmed two live bait fishing videos last month. You guys tore them up. You absolutely loved them. If you guys want to check them out, I'll link them down below. There are some fire episodes and you guys seem to love them. So we're going to be doing a lot more live bait fishing videos coming up. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. I got the hiccups right now, so I'm really trying to get my words out of my mouth real quick. But as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, we went and got a lot of live bait. Old Fletcher over here was casting it like crazy, sweaty boy. I'm and, uh, beat. <laughs> 100 degrees outside today and um, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be fishing for really whatever bites We're gonna be fishing with some cut bait some live bluegill some live tilapia It's gonna be a good episode. You guys saw the last one. We caught some really good catfish Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get it started get our poles rigged up get out there try to catch some big fish Let me know if you want to see some more live bait fishing videos get this video to 10,000 likes and we'll do a lot more So let's get into it. I mean, I don't even know where to start Do we some tilapia or the big bluegill? Dude, I don't know, but we got so many bait fish in there, and we got a ton of small bluegill that are popping around. We got a good bit of tilapia, and we also have a few solid bluegill in there. So this is going to be fun today. Um, we didn't get the big, big, big live bait like we were hoping, but there's still some big live bait in here. Like we that huge. Good one. I mean, there's a huge tilapia. Let me right get them. Also got a little net this time. Can I get the big one? Um, I think I missed one. Man, yeah, so. Oh yeah. See, there's some big live bait down. I mean, that's a big boy. That's a that's a pretty meaty one. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful. I think that's our biggest tilapia, and I believe this one's our biggest bluegill right here. 
So we have some nice sized bait. That, I mean, it's going to take a pretty big fish to eat either one of those. So I think those are definitely going to get the job done. So another thing that I didn't say, we're actually at a new spot. There's a big marina on this big body of water that we're fishing today. And um, we're going to be trying to fish the dock that's on the marina for the catfish. So we're going to put out some cut bait. I mean for bass too. And then we're going to put some bass on bobbers kind of like we did last time. There's also a bridge that we might throw around. There's been a lot of schooling bass over there recently. Did you just um, say we're putting bass on bobbers? I'm pretty sure you said that. Bass on bobbers? Did I say that? I think you did. I mean, I, I don't <laughs> mind putting a bass on a bobber now. I'll catch a big old boy. But anyways, so we're going to throw, you know, bluegill out there, tilapia out there, then cut bait. And I uh, see, we're going to go over to the dock and I'll show you guys, you know, everything that we're going to be fishing. Big live bait in here. Got a net. Biggest thing I want to talk about is the poles. We got four poles. Well, we got five today. So we got one with a... You know, just a regular bass bait. Fletcher might cast that around. And then we got this one right here on my Pro TI, and that's one of the big circle hooks. So this one's gonna be for live bluegill. We're gonna put a bobber on this as well. And we got two of those. Yep, we got two of those. That one's gonna be good for live bluegill or live tilapia, anything live. And then these two are gonna be our cut bait rigs and they have the smaller hooks on them. So I think it's gonna be perfect. We're gonna put a little split shot on there and we'll be good to go. Um, Oh, that's nice. Does it got water in it? Water oh my god. The cooler got in here. Hold on, let me. Oh, nice. Put a couple of these on on each of those rigs. I can't remember where I put these last time. If you guys have any suggestions, like I said, I'm not a live bait fisherman. I'm artificial. Um, I, I like to do this in my spare time just because it's something different, something fun, and it brings me back to the good old days fishing with my grandfather. If you guys have any suggestions on the rigs that we're using, if anything that could help us out, like just let us know in the comment section down below. We're not avid live bait fishermen. <laughs> we're just so. kind of just. We're, ju we're just having fun with it. <laughs> we're just winging it, honestly. So right. Right there i'd say about four to five inches split shots above the hook like i said if you guys have any other suggestions for that if you'd rather put it 10 10 inches up or if you'd rather put it right on the hook let me know let me know what you guys do because one thing that i go by there is no rules to fishing i don't care who tells you there's zero rules to fishing so i want to hear what you guys Get do tilapia to use cool. um. okay calm, <laughs> calm down becky <laughs> Calm down, this, Becky. This. Bobbers make me mad sometimes. But guys, we're rigging up bobbers on the two live bait rods right here. Probably gonna be putting them about a foot liter up. Got a bobber on that one, got a bobber on this one, about the same length that we want. Okay, I think we got that, we're set. Two bobber rods, two rods of split shots for cut bait. Okay. Right here. Yeah, that's cool. I like this little spot. So the guys, this is the first spot that we're gonna try out today. Hopefully the last. Hopefully it'll be really good here. I come off this dock and set up some lines out. So I like the way this looks. Yeah, I do like the way it looks. I'm, I'm hoping there's some just mega catfish. I hope we get on some like I want to catch a big bass today too, but something about a, the, just a giant catfish. Our, our last one was what ten or nine five? Nine five. I think it was nine five. Nine. Yep. Get I know we got to get a double digit today. That's the goal. This is where we are going to set up. So we'll probably set out some catfish lines all around these docks. That'll probably be good. Then cast some of the bass out towards that way. And I said there's a bridge over there, but I'll we'll probably keep it right here. <laughs> they will poke the crap Oh, they out will of get you. you. They're strong, dude. You can't just grab them. This is what I'm using. I'm trying to dude, choke him, right choke him to death. Oh, but he's so strong. Yeah. Right there that little i saw you guys commenting about that the little scales on the end of the hook i've never noticed it i don't know if i just stuck him too deep let's see if he runs are you kidding me i killed that thing dude i think it's from the cooler or never mind he's good right oh no he's good <laughs> he's really good okay now he's going berserk so check out our lively action on the tilapia look at that yeah, he's getting a little lively. All right, I'm gonna go cast mine out. Big hook, big bait. Probably gonna set it out on this end. I'm not gonna be able to watch it as much. There's whole setup stations over on the other side, but you know what? I'm feeling it over here. I'm just gonna cast him right out just like that. Let him kind of run around out there. Oh yeah, he's still lively. There we go. Look at, oh my gosh, guys, look at all these bait fish. That is insane. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a ton of bait. I have the bobber about a foot up from it, so it's going to stay at the top of the surface. And um, hopefully a big bass will come up and end up munching a ton of bait fish over in this area. It's been a lot of schooling action last time I came out around here. So I guess we'll see. Now it's just a waiting game. 
Well, that pole's gonna be over here. Now, here's the giveaway portion of today's video. If you would like to win the brand new Mock Smash Reel, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button, and if you could, drop some video ideas down below. And also, one more little thing, after this video is done, if you could, go check out Fletcher's channel and watch one of his videos, and if you do enjoy his content, go give him a subscribe. But that's all you have to do, and I'll pick a winner next week. I don't know why, but I'm more excited about the cut bait. Here's a little piece of cut bait for you. Thank you, chef. That thing is looking nice and juicy. Look at that. That's looking like a good piece of meat, son. This tilapia is so tough. It's a tough fish, man. High in protein. Back in my, you know, bodybuilding days, man. Tilapia, cheap and high in protein. <laughs> Has nothing to do with fishing, but <laughs> it's cheap, it's high in protein. Do you think I should go right here? I'm thinking of a, a close one, dude. Yeah. I'm thinking, so, all right, so this is what we got. Two split shots and circle hook tilapia. Oh, okay. Okay, I like it. Or maybe like in the edge, like on that boat. So I just put my cut bait right here in this corner. Fletcher's gonna go over there. Now this is just a waiting process. I'm praying that we catch a big catfish. I've been wanting to do this again ever since we did it last month. All right, let's see what this guy's doing. Give you all a little update. He is right on the dock. I don't want you right here, bud. I'm gonna reel him in. I think I might go put him by the catfish. We're just gonna cast him right out there. <laughs> that thing's probably done, man. I hope he hope he's still lively. We're gonna flip. Okay. Good. Tried to skip the tilapia meat. It's toasty. All right, right there, in between that little slit. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Good one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, he was taking off. He was taking off, bro. Let's go. Nice. We were just, dude, that's a 10 pound, it has to be. You think 10? He's bigger than the last, he has to be. Is he? Is he I don't know. I don't know, let me grab the net. Yeah. Hold on. Dude, we got too much stuff in the net. We got a big catfish on, he was taking off. We went to go check on the other side of this marina to see if there's a better spot to fish. And this thing was just going. Oh yeah. Always a good one, dude. Always a big one. Oh, oh no! Get up! No! <laughs> Dang! Oh, it's okay, it's oh. all good. <laughs> Man. Dang. Oh, 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 I got one, I got one. Oh, go, 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 go. I got one. I catch the bait, you catch the fish. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh, is it good? Is not as good? Not as good? Oh, man. Oh, hold on, let me go get the, the net. <laughs> I'll try this one again. Dude, this is crazy. Right when we thought we weren't going to catch any. Oh man, what an episode already. Let's go. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, break him here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. That's technically Fletcher's. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll give it to you. The next one you gotta get. <laughs> oh man. Can I grab him by the mouth? Uh, you can. Ooh, there it cool. is. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go, baby. First catfish today. What do you think? I'm like four? I think we're about to change the name, bro. Kicking their catfish TV. <laughs> Kicking <today>. their cat. <laughs> I think he's about, he's probably what, four or five pounds? Yeah, I'm saying somewhere in there. I'd say like high threes at the yeah. least. It's hard to tell with me, man. Like when I look at a different fish, it's exactly. so Exactly. Like a bass, I, I know. But. Yeah, it's hard to tell with fish you don't really like fish for. But that, dude, that is fire, man. Like Saved that was our cool. bait too. Technically Fletcher's catfish, but we just had another crazy incident. Last <laughs> time the same thing happened. That is a beautiful one right there. Gotta love the golden color on those fish. Look at that, dude. That's a beautiful one. 
Oh beautiful, yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, that was crazy. That was so awesome. <laughs> like literally the second we lose that one, I saw that line just start getting taut and I'm like, oh god. Dude, we're about to have a good time, Fletch. It's just, your turn. It's your it turn. It is now. my turn. It I, is my turn. I, I lost that first one. I don't know if it was really my fault or not, but I was trying to play with them a lot. <laughs> that's the first catfish today, man. Let's go, dude. All right, let's Fletch. Get let's get the baits back in the water. We're gonna put some more cut bait on. Let's see if we can get Fletcher a big catfish. All right, guys, Fletcher had an idea. He was like, why don't we just put this one that he has the bass lure on? We might as well put another circle hook on it with some cut bait. So just going to show you the rigging up process and what we've been doing. I'm um, show you guys what knot I've been tying and everything else. So we're going to cut this off. He just has a big old two tap on here. We ain't art artificial fishing today. Make sure there's no phrase in our line. That's one thing I always do. You're going to grab one of these big circle hooks, and these are the six odds that he was talking about. You tie this bad boy on. You guys know if you're an avid kitch, kicking their bass watcher, you guys know I love the uni knots. Um, it's my favorite knot. If you guys want to see a YouTube video on it, you can Google kicking their bass TV fishing knot, and it'll pop up for you right there. Wet our line, cinch her tight, cut our tag in. We're good to go. We're going to put the split shots like we did last time. Get two of the bigger ones. Put that up about five to six inches. That's what we did last time. Just going to do the same thing. It seemed to work. And there's two. So right there, very basic. Circle hook, split shots. Now, got to get some of our cut bait. That's what we might need is a good fresh piece. I saw people commenting, hey Noah, make sure you take off your scales when you puncture the fish. And uh, I actually didn't see it in the last video. I wasn't just being ignorant to that. I actually didn't see that I did that. So right there. Good fresh piece of chunk bait. Now we're gonna cast her out. So we got one rod right here. We have one over there. I think we should probably put this one. Let's put it out there on the maybe yeah, out on the put, point. Let's put them out there. Maybe between these two boats. Where we or we can see the line still. Yeah, that's cool. This is a big good piece too, man. I'm I'm feeling good about this one. I know it sounds weird. I have a question for you guys watching. So on those two rods, you know, we caught a catfish on both of them. And um, the bait had already caught the catfish. What is what are y'all's opinions on the scent of it and having a fresh piece versus a piece that has already been eaten before? Drop your comments down below. When you actually catch a catfish on a piece of stinky bait, do you replace it every single time, or if it's still on the hook, do you still use it? Drop the comments down below. That's a good question. That's actually a and, good uh, question. I didn't even really think yeah, about that because they probably can definitely smell other catfish on it. See, that's what I was thinking. I, like when. When I was thinking about putting it back out there, I was like, man, this looks good, but it, but versus a fresh piece that you just cut, you know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I, it has more scent too, you know, maybe the scent's already off the bait. That's a good question. If we catch one on that before these two. I think, I think we got an answer. We, uh, yeah, I think we got an answer to our question. <laughs> so. We are moving spots, guys. We are actually gonna go right around the corner to the other area of this dock. We're not exactly sure if those were like all the catfish in that area, but like, I'm almost pretty confident that there's definitely going to be some more down here. We got a lot more like pilings that are exposed that we can really get these baits up against because these docks are kind of like, I don't know, they're like out away from the pilings. So I feel like the catfish will definitely be tucked up against these walls. And this back wall is nice and exposed. Can I drop one in here? Is that too ballsy? Do it. All right, I think I'm going to cast mine actually right there on the corner of that dock. We'll try that there. I actually might run and grab that other rod that we have over there too. Put it out. We'll let that one sit. We'll go back over here and grab this other live bait or uh, cut bait rig that we have just so we don't have to keep going back and forth. All right, so rod right there, Fletcher's combo. I'm gonna try this corner actually. Looks pretty good. Looks promising. Right there. I think that'd be good. Fletch is hooked it's up. A nice one. Oh. Is it a big one? Yeah, no, it's definitely a sizable <gasps> one. Oh, let's dude, go. let's go. That's, that's the PV. Yes. That's the PV. You're going to need a net on this one, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Oh, she is tough. Dude, she's big. That's a 10. That has happy. to be 10. All right. I'm happy. getting a net for you. She is tugging. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. She's dude, this like is crazy. Oh, dude, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, look at the mouth on that thing. Bring her up. Oh, oh, let me oh, jump oh, here. Oh, oh, I gotta set the camera down. Yeah, it's a little long. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's dude. go. Oh, that is a fatty. Dude, look at that catfish. Oh my god. That's a big girl, man. You have the scale? Yeah, it's you right. You gotta here. weigh that one. Oh my god. Oh, 
That's probably, oh, I don't know if she's the biggest. No, she's I don't. probably like about seven, I'd say pounds. like seven, six to seven. That's my guess. In her mouth right there. Oh, oh, get her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta hold on tight, man. She got a lot of power. Right when I was walking over there, Flush was like, we got one, we got one. <laughs> Alright, you got those, uh, can you give me those little pliers right there? Yeah. It's gotta be a seven, eight pounder, dude. Let's see what she weighs. Oh, gosh. Did do that thing yeah. again? I think it'd be pretty simple. Just press on. Yo, I got one. You got one? I got one over there. Oh. You wanna get a weight on her, run? I can't get it to work. Alright, <laughs> we, got, we got another fish, guys. <laughs> We're just gonna say this one is like six on the low end. And go ahead and put her back in. Because like Noah's got one. Oh, swim for it. There she, there she goes. goes. Here. There we go. You want to get it? Or... Here, I'll let you get it. I don't know. Oh, definitely. Oh my god, he's on the other side. You on? Oh, oh, oh did he come off? Wait. I think he's just running. Oh, no. Are you around the post? Dude, he's way. Is he around the post? I don't know. I think he's still on. Oh yeah. Oh, he's around the post. Yeah, he's on. You think you can get him around the post or you want to try to hang it underneath the thing? Um, I can hand it to you underneath the dock. He's big, dude. I'm, I'm trying to, hold on. I don't think he's going anywhere. He's got that circle hook. I got him. You, he's across? Yeah. Oh, you he's sure? big, dude. Yeah, he's freaking big. Where can I go with him? Uh, Once you get him underneath this, I'd say go down on that dock. Dude, he's big, fudge. Oh, my oh yeah! <laughs> Look at that! Look at all! Oh, I gotta get the net! <laughs> I gotta get the net! No way! He was so far away. He was under that. Dude, this is crazy, man! This is awesome. It's a big catfish. I think he's about the same. He might be a little smaller than that last one. <laughs> Come here, baby. Yeah! <laughs> We're smoking them. Dude, Let's that's go. Crazy. That's a fat one. Look at that that's one, another dude. big one. It's about the same size as that last one. Yeah, just about. The one I caught was had like a much bigger head on them, but this one's about the same length. Oh my gosh. Let me go get you the top. We just got stuff all over the place. Live bait fishing was supposed to be like more passive. I'm running around <laughs> doing dude, this I'm more. wearing out. <laughs> more than anything. Gotcha. That's a nice one, man. Good one, bro. I think our scale is not gonna uh, cooperate with us. Look at that thing. That's uh, probably that's probably another five or six pounder. Yeah, do you have them pliers? Yeah, here you go. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it out. That one you might have to end up cutting. How deep is it? Oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's down there. You're gonna have to cut it. Just yeah. cut it. I hate to do that, but sometimes you have to. Yeah, sometimes it's just easier on the fish to let it just rust out versus trying to like grab it out of the throat. Look at that. Beautiful cat right there, man. Man. It does have the colors like the other ones, but that is still an awesome fish. Let's go, boy. <laughs> That's so much fun. You want to release one on this side? Yeah, you can put them right here and just let them swim right off of this little flat part. Dude, those are some big fish, bro. I know, I mean, dude. Seriously. The marina docks, man. They hold the big ones. Did you hear them? You hear <laughs> no, them but... You just turn him over. That he should swim oh, right look off. Look at that fish. Oh, that's a good, beautiful fish right there. There she there goes. She... Oh man! Yeah. Look at that little tiny bass and watching him. Like, no. Skirt. Oh dude, that's an adrenaline rush. It really is. Like, you think bass fishing is like the most power sport, and you're like going crazy. And but man, this right here, it's wore us out today. <laughs> Every bit.